hi everyone welcome to our sweet daisy dachshund channel this is daisy our 14 week old mini doxy and today she will show you how we do potty training with her before we get started let's just go over a few rules and tips and the first rule would be consistency this is super important if you want the potty training to be successful so what i mean by consistency is that you really need to decide on how you want to approach the potty training and you definitely need to stick to it before you even bring your puppy home from the breeder decide how you want to approach the potty training so what I mean by that is decide if you want to use a bell by the door or not. Decide what you, verbal cues you will be using. So for example, when you take your puppy out, before you open the door and them out, do you want to use a verbal cue such as let's go outside, um, potty time. We use the phrase let's go potty. So every time we take her out, before we open the door, we say let's go potty. So she knows it's time to go and do her business. Then uh, when you take her outside and she does her business, again, what verbal cues would you like to use? Are you going to use wee wee, poo, do your business? Some people use hurry up. So decide on all of this before you even bring her home from the breeder, because the first thing you want to do when you come home, the first minute really is to take her out for a potty break. And straight away from that point onwards, be consistent. So use the same actions, use the same verbal cues. The next rule is to be patient. And again, please do not expect miracles from your puppy. They are very small. It will take time for them to learn the rules and how to potty. So be super patient with them. The third rule uh, is, at least for us, be proactive. And again, what I mean by that is do not wait for your puppy to give you clues or do not wait until it's too late. Take your puppy out regularly. Take them out after they wake up. Take them out probably about five minutes after they eat. Take them out about five minutes after they play. Also take them out before they go to bed. Take them out after they wake up. And uh, something that people forget is take them out before you expect any visitors or before your family members come home, maybe from school or work. So be super consistent with this and follow these rules. Also take them out every about 13 minutes in between these times. The more opportunities to, you create to take your puppy out, the more opportunities you have for her to do her business, the more opportunities you create to praise her, to give her treats. And the more you praise her, the more you give her treats, the more she remembers she needs to go out for potty outside. Um, another thing I would say is do not expect that she will not have accidents, even if you are proactive. There will definitely be times when she will have accidents, even if you go out every 30 minutes, even if you take her out after meals, waking up, etc., etc. So do not expect again that it will go smoothly straight away. Another thing with being proactive is, yes, you will be take her, taking her out regularly and often, but she will not go every time. What we have noticed with our puppy is that she went for wee wee at about every two hours and maybe for poo every four hours when she was on kibble. Then we changed her to raw, so her um, uh, bowel movements changed. But you will probably learn during the first week or two what her toileting schedule is, and um, it will help you with the potty training. But even though she doesn't go every 30 minutes, still take her out every 30 minutes. It really does help with the potty training. The last rule is please do not punish your puppy if they have accidents. They will have accidents. 
even if you think that the potty training is going great, she hasn't had an accident for four days, then suddenly she will have a day when she has several accidents in the day. It will happen regardless how well you think the potty training is going. So do not punish your puppy. If they do their business inside, do not say anything, do not shout, do not harm them. Um, just take them out straight away after they have done their business. So they realize they were supposed to go out. Just clean up, use the enzyme cleaner so you get rid of the smell of the urine or the poo so they don't toil it in the same place again. And just be calm and do not punish them. The signs that your puppy will give you when they need to potty train or when they need to go out. There are several signs and again after about a week or two with our puppy we learned to read the signs and you will as well. Um, the signs can be that your puppy will be sniffing around, will be circling, will be walking or panting from one side to other side very quickly will be shuffling their bum on the floor or your puppy will just come to you and stare at you or whine or bark or they will even go to the door and whine and bark there so do watch them all the time and read the signs If you take your puppy out and they don't do their business um, and you know they need to do their business, let's say after they wake up first thing in the morning, they always need to do their business. If you take them out, they don't do their business, put them in the playpen because they will definitely go at some point. Keep them in the playpen for about five or ten minutes and then try again. Do not let them run around the, your house because they will definitely have an accident somewhere. Another thing I would mention when potty training is be organized. Again, what I mean by that is do not let your puppy wait by the door, uh, waiting for you, uh, getting your coat ready, getting the treats ready. Have everything ready and at hand all the time. So, for example, I have my coat uh, ready by the door. I have an umbrella ready because trust me, you will need an umbrella with duck's hands when it, when it rains outside, especially if there is a heavy rainfall, they will refuse to go out. So you need to have an umbrella, hold it above them for them to go potty. Then have everything else ready. So we have a drawer where we have pool bags, we have her collar with a lead, we have her treats, we have a towel to wipe her paws if it rains heavily outside. So have everything ready at hand, especially if you go uh, for potty at night, you just don't want to be running around the house looking for things. You want everything ready straight away. And also it helps your puppy because they don't have to be waiting. If they wait too long, they can have an accident in front of the door. When it comes to potty training in rain and bad weather, uh, one advice I would have is you need to be more stubborn than your dog. Um, Dachshunds are super stubborn and they hate going for potty in rain or when it's cold. And they are very stubborn about it. You will find out, you take your puppy out, the first thing they will do, they will run back inside or they will run back to the door and will be whining and barking and they will want to go inside you need to be more stubborn than your dog it may take an hour but you need to be more stubborn so if it's cold outside take your coat take your umbrella and make your puppy go for potty wait until they go and then let them inside what i see on social media in lots of comments is that people are saying we let our puppy out or we let our dog out if it's raining or it's out or it's cold outside 
then they come inside and they do their business straight away inside. Well, you need to go out with your dog and you need to make sure that your dog did their business before you let them back in. Soon your dog will learn that that's the way it is and they will have to do their business before they can go inside. So please, please do this. It may take uh, again some time, uh, but uh, it will pay off in a long run. One thing I would recommend, if your puppy does a wee, don't take them inside straight away and wait for a few more minutes. Sometimes puppies don't empty their bladders straight away and have another little wee after. Or, of course, they might also need to go for a poo. So if Daisy has a wee, we stay in the garden for another five or even ten minutes and just wait and see especially if she wakes up in the morning her routine is that she has a wee and poo so uh, we just wait um, and see if she will go sometimes i even let her off the lead if i definitely know uh, that she needs to go for number two and um, her bowels are not moving then i let her off the lead because i know if she has a run around the garden for five minutes then her bowels will move and she will go but that's again something you will learn about your puppy in a few weeks so to start with keep them on the lead wait for five or ten minutes if nothing happens just take them in but um you will learn the toileting schedule pretty soon when it comes to potty training your puppy at night uh, expect that your puppy will probably need to go once or twice a night I will cover this more in my crate training video, uh, but your puppy will wake up several times a night, but they will not need to go every single time. So try to calm your puppy down, try to comfort them. If they can't settle down, then that means they need to go. Um, when you take them, follow the same steps you follow during the day, but do not make much fuss when uh, rewarding them. Just tell them they are a good girl, good boy, give them a treat and take them to back to the crate straight away. Do not talk to them much, keep the lights down. Try to basically keep them uh, calm so they can go back to sleep straight away. So before I take Daisy outside and show you what we do when we uh, go outside for potty training, I'll go through the steps uh, in more detail in case I don't have time to explain it when we are outside. So what we do is we take her to the back door, we put a collar and a lead on. Uh, this is because when you take your puppy outside, um, they will probably start running around the garden and get excited and start exploring all the things and sniffing everything. And you don't really want to do that because when you take them for potty, it's time to do their business, not time to play. So we want to let them know that. So when you take them outside, just keep them in one um, space, one corner of the garden and uh, try to stop them from playing and exploring the garden. So that's why you keep them on the lead. Uh, so we put the collar and the lead on. Then we use the bell. So we press the bell, I use the phrase, let's go potty. Then we open the door and take her outside. Uh, she already picked her favorite spot in the garden, so we know where to go. And you will learn that about your puppy as well. So we go in the corner of the garden. She will sniff around a little bit. And as soon as she starts doing her business, either we or poo, we use the rubber cues, we or poo. So as she is doing it, you use the rubber cue. Now, this is because you can actually teach uh, your dog to toilet on command. The timing to praise her and to give her a treat for doing her business is quite important because you want to do it as she is finishing her business. Do not wait for her to finish the business and then run around and then reward her because she will not remember what she's being rewarded for in a few seconds. So it's really, really important to get the timing right. So reward your puppy as they are finishing their business. We make lots of fuss. We give lots and lots of praise and we give a treat. Um, we give a treat now. Uh, but the first two or three weeks, Daisy wasn't really interested in treats because she wasn't eating well. So we just praised her a lot. And to be honest, it worked just as well. So don't feel like you need to give a treat to your puppy. You can just use a tray or you can use a toy.
Okay, so Daisy is ready to go out. She's got her collar and her lead on. I've got her treats and her pool bags in my pocket. So we are ready to rock and roll. So let's just ring the bell before we go out. Good girl, yes, look at her. Let's go potty. Okay, so this is where Daisy normally goes for wee wee. So I'm going to give her the barbecue wee because she's already used to it and hopefully she will do it soon. Wee wee, Daisy, come back. Good girl. Wee wee. Wee wee. That's a good girl. Yes, that's a good girl. Well done, you. That's a good girl. Okay, so as you can see, guys, I gave her the treat and the praise just as she was finishing the wee wee. So that's really important. So she realizes she's being praised for doing her business. So now I'm gonna let her run around the garden for another five minutes or so just to see if she needs a pool. I hope you found the video helpful. I tried to give you as many tips as possible. But if you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and we will try to answer them all. Um, but you can also read our article on potty training on our blog and I will leave the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.